It's moving, yeah. Ended up getting a really nice two and a half inch thick ash slab out of the deal. A really nice piece of wood. And the old china cupboard was purchased. <laughs> As you know, painting is a tedious job, but it looked really, really nice once it was all touched up and painted nice. Here we have the back of the coffee bar coming together with reinforcements in place, ready to accept the wood. And my favorite part was working with the live edge ash. Here the draw knife has just taken care of some edges, leaving some nice character behind and accepted staying really nice. Some warm trails and marks came through really nice. The character really popped out when the stain hit that wood. And this is rewarding when you fit it, it just pops right into place. That uh, felt really, really good when the fit was nice and snug, just like I was shooting for. And the project is complete. It's got the LED lighting, the Edison bulbs in there, all set up, ready to make our first coffee uh, through that coffee bar. Super exciting. So we've got exciting times happening. Our project of the coffee bar is finally complete. Welcome to the first pour of coffee. We're going to be pouring over a very nice Ethiopian dry process organic coffee. So we're going to start that here and I'll tour you through the coffee bar just a little bit as we start that process. Started with an old china cupboard, a good solid wood china cupboard that we refinished, repainted, new hardware, new tabletop, a nice deal from Ikea and their scratch and dent department. So I'll cut that and made a nice countertop there, but my favorite part was the live edge ash. This we harvested from our riverbank. Um, big old tree, took it down, had it slapped. Nice, nice piece of live edge. This was my favorite, favorite part. The mug holders, the hooks are actually uh, old square headed nails that I bent on a hydraulic press to get the hook for the mug. So to me, this is the funnest part. Wood, very basic. It looks a little bit like cheater wide plank, old growth stuff. I'll tell you a bit of a secret. Actually, I just cut up a regular construction grade two by six into slabs, glued together a top section. So it looks like a big wide plank from an old, old tree when it's actually just construction grade lumber. I didn't want it all the same width. I want a bit of variety and some wider stuff. So you can kind of see the, uh, some of the stuff is really wide looking, some is narrower. I intentionally wanted to do that. Why you keep pouring? I'm talking too much here. So we are hoping for many, many happy cups of coffee that'll be poured through this coffee bar. Maybe some of you watching will be joining us and uh, hopefully we can enjoy some coffee together as we just uh, make use of our new coffee bar. And uh, yeah, super exciting. One of the funnest projects I've done. So thanks for watching.